yarn we're back I have rethreaded and uh, we'll see maybe my thread just doesn't want to make it over those nylon teeth we'll see oh, there we go all right so we're gonna go all the way to the end again we do not need to back stitch because this is going to be a box bottom edge and this this end and the beginning end are not going to show all right so now we can cut the excess zipper off and we don't want to have this kind of a rough uh, seam edge inside of the bag of course so I'm going to turn those strings up and I'm going to take a bit of um, bias tape and I think I can get by with the narrow uh, this is oh this is extra wide so actually this is going to be quite easy I'm going to take that out and the nice thing when you're working with the extra wide is it's already folded for you the double fold extra wide is already folded so all I'm going to have to do is lay it down and stitch and again this edge isn't going to be uh, taking any stress so I'm and nobody's putting this in their laundry so I'm not even going to fold that under it just adds extra bulk so I'm, I don't know if you can see this or not how it's folded and the underside you can see extends to the left so I'm not gonna have to worry about missing missing that one as I come along all right just let it run off the end there a little bit okay this will just make a prettier seam on the inside of the tote bag If you're working with a ready-made placemat, you can take the bias tape off the end of the, the long edges of the bag and then reuse it for this purpose. But this placemat did not come with bias tape, it just was stitched. Okay, that's all I need to do there. All right, now uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna go get a tool that will help us figure out how to do our boxed bottom.